Today I'm going to be showing you all how to run x86 and x64 operating systems on M1 Max. And what's cool about this is that M1 Max come with ARM processors, which are totally different than x86 and x64 systems. And with this new software called UTM, you can actually run these different kinds of systems. And it's very convenient, and it's very much like VirtualBox, it's just a little different and based off like M1 Mac hardware. And another cool thing about this is that this is also available on iOS. And it's not on the native Apple App Store, but you can sideload the app and you can run like all these different types of operating systems. And I'll go ahead and show you the operating systems real quick. There are a ton of different types of Linux, Ubuntu, and then some different Windows operating systems here. And in this video, I'm going to be showcasing Windows XP on M1 Mac. But the process is pretty similar for installing all these different operating systems here. Literally all you need to do is just click on it, download it, and then the profile will be imported into UTM for you. And then all you'll need is an ISO for these operating systems. But like I said before, I'm going to be using Windows XP in this tutorial. So simply click on the operating system you want. And as you can see, it has all the settings right here that it's going to import for you and do automatically, which is really nice. And you're going to need the ISO like I was talking about. And each operating system will have a different guide for running it. And yeah, let's begin. So the first thing you're going to want to do once you've found your operating system that you want to be running is go over to the download button, click on that. Then save the UTM DMG file to your downloads folder or somewhere easy to access. Go to the place where the file was downloaded to, double click on the file. You will now see a pop up like this. Simply click and drag this file into applications. Once it's done copying, you can close out of this window here and you can eject the UTM disk that was mounted on your desktop. And now go to your applications folder, look for UTM and double click on it. And you'll now see a pop up saying UTM is an app downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? Click on open. And as you can see, this is very similar to VirtualBox and other types of virtualization applications. And it even has a direct link to the gallery, which is really cool. Now what we need to do is go back to our browser and download the operating system setup file that I was showing you before. Save that to an easy place to access. Should have downloaded a zip file. Now go to that location where it downloaded to. Double click on the zip file. And now you'll see your operating system.utm file. Double click on that and it'll bring it right over into UTM, which is very nice. And as you can see, it has all your settings already configured for you. And now that our machine is imported into UTM, we can now go back to our web browser. And now let's start off with the requirements here. And here's what I'll recommend which ISO file we should get. And I found a pretty reliable website for all these ISO files. It's called getmyos.com and I'll have this link down below along with UTM. This website has basically any ISO you can think of, and it's very easy to use. Once you have found your file, just click on download. Then click on allow access to your Google Drive account. Then click on download file. And it'll bring you to a Google Drive link like this. Then just click on download anyway. Save it again to an easy place to access. Now that we have the ISO file downloaded, go back in the UTM. Once in UTM, all you need to do is attach the ISO file. Simply go down to where you see CD, DVD. Click on that, then click on Browse. Locate your ISO file. Double click on it. And now your machine will boot from that file. Now that that's imported, we can start up our virtual machine. And I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through this process here. But if you guys follow the Windows XP installation guide on UTM, then I will have a product key linked down below that will work with this version.
Once your machine is done installing, go back to the UTM page where you downloaded it from and make sure that you've completed all the steps under installation. As you can see here, I've completed up to step five, but I still need to download this ISO file here and I need to replace the CD ISO file with this here. So I'm going to eject the disk now. Now I'm going to download the ISO file from this installation page. Now it's just saying to add it to the CD slot. And now I can go ahead and start up my machine again. And yeah, it's, that's basically it guys. All you need to do is go to this gallery here. You can select which operating system you want. You download the UTM file and then you'll import it into the UTM app on Mac. Then you check the requirements, download the ISO file. You'll go through all the installation steps here and you want to make sure you download the Spice Tools ISO and import it. And some notes here which are pretty cool is it looks like it's saying that the browser that comes with Windows XP is not going to be supported too well. And it actually recommends a different browser which is really nice. But yeah guys, that's basically it. Thank you all for watching and if you have any troubles just leave a comment down below. And like I said before, this doesn't just have to be Windows XP. This works for literally any x86 and x64 operating system. And hope to see you all again soon.